Shalom. Peace, love, and light to the trap. It's your boy, Sir Fuqua. Now, you already know we align with the divine every time we make a video. I apologize if you hear some stuff in the back. Dude back there cleaning his car or something. I don't really know. But I wanted to talk about psychological operatives. Now, you could just call these the ops, but I wanted to specify you for me the psychological part because these are the individuals and entities that we should always be cognitive of, right? Because if we're not, this could lead to manipulation on so many different forms, right? And without this awareness of the types of psychological operatives that you are going to encounter within your journey, you could literally be led astray this way, that way, this way, that way. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it, right? Um, probably the most common psychological, you feel me, operative um, that, you feel me, you're going to encounter. Uh, and we encounter these, you feel me, every single day, which are gang stalkers. These aren't, you feel me, gang members that are out here, you feel me, stalking the chosen ones. But these can come in so many different shapes and forms. But most of the time, it'll be maybe an individual in your neighborhood. It could be somebody at the grocery store, you feel me. It could be, you feel me, a fucking pet or something like that. Uh, these people are usually just attracted to the light. Um, they don't necessarily cause an immediate threat. But, you feel me, it's good to be aware of these individuals because they can definitely host different spirits. And if they get a, a glimpse of your light, you feel me, there's really no telling what an individual uh, is capable of. But it's always good to be, you feel me, aware in these situations. Like I said, they don't really pose a threat, but they are watching you. So, know that much, right? Know that they are being watched and make sure you're watching back, gang, gang. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're going to run into a lot of uh, psychological operatives uh, in the form of karmic relationships. Now, um, in the form of like a karmic relationship, as far as a, a actual uh, man and woman, um, you feel me, marriage or boyfriend and girlfriend, we have found ourselves in these relationships usually dealing with past life traumas or situations that we haven't necessarily let go of, right? And... A lot of times when we are in karmic relationships, um, it's really hard to actually identify who the actual operative is in the given situation because most of the time you're being manipulated. And usually you don't notice this manipulation until the operative actually reveals itself. Now, whether you, you feel me, are already aware of this operative, uh, you can, uh, being aware can uh, allow, can, give you the power to make them um expose themselves right uh you being in control you know what i'm saying um within a situation so that's why uh when you are in karmic relationships and knowing uh the operative you can maneuver you feel me appropriately uh to handle the situation so that you can move on from you feel me that given cycle now, it doesn't always have to necessarily be, you feel me, uh, boyfriend and girlfriend. It can come in the form of, you feel me, literally your family, you feel me. Y'all agreed uh, in, a, in, a, in a contract before you came into this physical existence that um, y'all would go through this together. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes it'll be, you feel me, on a sports team, you feel me, you deal with karmic relationships. Uh, and it'll be operative, maybe somebody who was a bully that you got to overcome or some shit like that. So, another form of psychological operatives that you're going to see, you feel me, on a, on a normal, uh, well, not even me, uh, not at this point. Uh, if you tapped into, you feel me, your social media, your phone and stuff like that, you're going to see a lot of internet gurus. Now, these operatives are serving agendas for entities. Um... Usually, uh, you feel me, like, ages, religions, and stuff like that. 
Uh, people that you can see, you feel me, on a normal, everyday basis, but you will see them, you feel me, in a more uh, digital way. <laughs> and they're just trying to bring you into a more, you feel me, a uh, one-sided way of thinking. Uh, these individuals are trying to cap, you feel me, your learning capabilities. They're usually not going to give you, you feel me, anything more. Um, uh, basically, uh, see it as this, right? If they are teaching you to summon things outside of yourself, any other entities outside of you, uh, run, you feel me? Uh, get what you can from the information, absorb it, you feel me? And uh, eat the fish and spit out the bones. But if they're teaching you to summon yourself, teaching you about self, right? Giving you information that is helpful to self, right? Then continue to learn, right? By all means, you feel me? Get all the information that you can from these individuals. And these won't be operatives, right? The operatives will be the ones trying to teach you to summon other entities, okay? So, um, one of the, the the most common, or not even the most common, but one of the most common uh, psychological operatives is going to be, you feel me, um, I would say um, media puppets or, um, you feel me, politicians, um, actors, uh, you know, people who are literally serving the agendas of the direct enemies, okay, the direct wicked uh, motherfuckers, people who are, uh, feel me, involved with, you know, uh, things such as pedophilia and things like that, performing symbolism like that on your subconscious mind, performing, you feel me, this warfare on a, uh, on a very large scale, you feel me, indoctrinating the minds of individuals to see uh, certain things like that as normal. Right, these are most definitely operatives, and pointing them out and, 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 and exposing them for who they actually are, right, uh, takes away their power. So, I wanted to talk about these uh, operatives and being aware of them, right, so that you know, you feel me. Whenever you on your journey, you feel me. You can identify these uh, individuals, right, and once you identify them, right, you can be like, hey, I know how to move, right. I peep game, right? Because once you peep game, it's over. It's over once you peep game. Because once you don't peep game, they exposed. And they can't be nothing but what they are. And a lot of people uh, fear that truth that you have within you, right? That 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 light within you. And if they can't manipulate you, they're going to look dumb and exposed right there on the scene. And now your power has been restored. <laughs> but anyways, right? It's been your boy, Sir Fuku. You already know. Short, quick video, I'm out.